so that it can then be pulled back in and have Correct. interesting wrinkles yep. seems like the right thing to do yes, and have three heads yep. all, all thinned up together. Do you uh -huh. know what I mean? Like uh -huh. uh -huh. What is down here? Meaning, is it like a is it like a condom that folds in on itself? I think it's uh, I think it's like a like a bucket, right? Like like if this is, if, if this is the the guy, right? We have a bucket with these, the, the, so we have basically this much, which, as you say, we can accordion these heads down right. into it. Right. So, so, so actually, this thing pushing out. Uh huh. So, because there's not actually a lot of space. Well, we're going to take it. We're going to get it here, so there's not more space. Right. right. So I should measure up to about. <laughs> so, so yeah. yeah so I should so measure up to about for my neighbor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Higher than that. So, so, so. So you yeah, say so higher. I think I think you will have about that much. And if you sculpt them, I do think they should be three separate sculptures, and we'll worry about joining them together. Oh, you don't want them. You don't, so you just want three. You want three, like tubes, yeah. tubes right. with a head on. Interesting, them. and you can, you, and then we'll just when we cast them out of silicone or whatever we're going to do, they'll just be compressible, and we'll do some kind of webby. Because I, I want I want it to be kind of like uh, internally, you know, tissuey and that kind of stuff. So it might be a little bit like face. So it's too much or, too much sculpting will get in the way of it being yes, organic looking. I think I think too much sculpting and connecting at the base locks us into something, and that connected base should be down further anyway. Where you probably would so do you, so do you want me to sculpt a thing like this? It seems to me that it would be a really handy thing to have. Like a like a female condom, basically, mm -hmm. that comes up into these yeah. things like that. Uh -huh. so you see it's what I'm water, saying? Or, or, or just it just seems like that could be. It, 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 I, I'm gonna I'm gonna let that be a constructed thing. Oh, here. okay. Yeah. So where do these things end? Here? Yeah, and, and it doesn't it doesn't really even matter so where just they end. Three. We'll never see that bottom. This will be this will be a bunch of intestines. Oh, okay. Yeah. So three heads like this. Yeah. Three different heads though, right? Correct. On three different necks that are basically yeah. extended and they'll okay. concertina down. Yes. And they're about what, that long? Yeah, about that long. And if it, so if how, too how big is the head, like this? Yeah, I think this, I do like that, like what I like about this one, this is kind of getting at it too, is that this middle head is the bigger of the two. See, but this is what I'm noticing. So this one looks cool because everything's all gummed together. Yeah. And I like, and uh, I, 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 three heads that have no relation to each other. You know, that's called yeah. apart. They're not gonna push together or be, be these like interlocking forms. Yeah, it's forms. not. It's not going to. It's not gonna look like that. It's gonna, it's gonna be more like that. Right? But is this? Is this? I think. I think if you give me a, a head, a large head, and then two smaller heads. Okay. Um, and you give me. In the, in, uh, I'm, I, I'm not going to go for this. This does look neat, but I think that's a more complex. Kind okay. Of okay. So, so three, so three heads, one large one. Yeah. So, so some variation. Mm -hmm. Make them interesting, yeah. um, uh, but there's no need for them to uh, be relational to each other. Correct. They can they'll squish just, into, yes, they'll just compress to each other. And then the teeth. Cut these teeth up. Yeah. Um, uh, put a. And, and I can get you. Uh, we can get you castings of more teeth. Like, see what is cool. You know, is that these little have, have lots of other teeth stuck on. It, we can get you castings of teeth. But these things. <coughs> these things. Teeth. So if these are like plastic teeth, the reason mm -hmm. that it makes it quicker is that you literally take the ones that we use in sculpt and stick them on the fish cast. Yeah. So so it can have floating in individual parts. Yeah, the, the, the other the other thing would be It's not because you you're to... going, oh and this then makes a call. Like, do you know what I mean? Like like it's like just it's it's easier because you it's already had them. Because I have them. And, and and what I've realized is <laughs> on this uh, on this budget is I have to use as many pre existing parts and pieces right. as I can otherwise I'm, I'm sunk budget wise. So and so uh, Okay, <clears throat> okay, okay, cool. And the, the final question is these are hand puppets, is that right? Um I think they're going to, uh, I, I, what I need to do, I'm going to do a thing where, you know, if it's on, um, if you perform it in this, he'll have a torso, often, and he'll be in green, you know, and he might be operated just with rods. Oh, like, so do they like need two. to be hand-sized? No, I, I think as long as they're not smaller than hand-sized, we can always stick a hand Because they're not, there. I mean, they're not, I mean, they're going to be larger, yeah, they're naturally going to be larger. Yeah. Okay, so I don't need fun. to worry about that. So really, it's just three neat sculptures, yeah. and you don't need to cons 
be too concerned about how they're going to function. But, but yeah, you know, yeah, that's correct. So now I, I would maybe start with like a, a circumference measurement. Find find someone who's sort of portly. And, yeah. We'll uh, some some. Well, <laughs> well, how? Like, yeah, I mean that's about perfect. <laughs> So take a measurement. Do you have a yeah. long tape measure? <laughs> like a really extra, extra like long one? <laughs> I don't even know this guy. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> just, 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 you know, we were actually talking, He's but I don't know him well enough to insult him on camera. <laughs> this is because Alex and Charlie. I know so it's I'm just going with the comedy <laughs> as, as brought by the boss. <laughs> right, right, because because he never uh, just spontaneously comes up with a uh, acerbic... Uh, no, no, nothing yeah, like that. Yeah. Nothing like that. I'll just say anything that's funny that comes out of here, so I'll agree with it. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, so I just we got them, so let's use them. And, and what is this dental acrylic? Yeah, that's dental acrylic, but you know it's, it's very thin, so that uh, for you know wait later. Right, um, right. So. But what are you saying about the teeth mold? Do you have I can teeth get molds? you more individual teeth if, if as who you would do those? Um, Should I do those? Uh, uh, um, maybe. Uh, do you want me to be doing this? <laughs> Who's the guy just picked work? Hey, Garth. No, 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 you want me to, you, 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 who I, should I, I speak I, to I, I and I'll get them all to... Uh, 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 yes. Garth, yeah, we may, we may want to get some, um, some more uh, teeth molds so that Steve can cast up some individual teeth that he can you know, gnarl up and okay. stuff, but more molds? Or yeah, molds so that he can pour them in, pour into them. Because okay. so I'm needs? just going to make... Um, I, I would say, uh, what, did they all go back up? No, I'll look good. through them and I'll pick some. And like like okay. spiky teeth are more interesting, I think, than these kind? I'll probably okay. find you some big... Like, like as I look at this, I, I think what I'm seeing... I mean, do you have any pre-existing pre on something you already made? Like, uh, is there, it seems like this shop must be filled with aliens covered in um, acrylic spikes. It's a matter of like taking... We have a time. I'll get to it. Okay, well, well I'll, fi I'll find some stuff. But, but you should just start sculpting them. I will. All right. While it, uh, evolves. All right. Yeah. All right. All awesome. joking aside, presumably yeah. it's going to be like your wasteful. It can be mine. It doesn't have to be thin. It doesn't have thin. to be large. I'm like thinking, really large. No, it can't be slender and sleek. <laughs> it has to be. It has to be. Uh, so you're in the middle there. Somewhere. I am somewhere. I'm. I'm the hot. I'm the, I'm the poor well, ass that's just a little too far. I want to wet these down. They haven't, touched, interested. They haven't been touched in like a week. So. All right. Love it. It's time to break out the rebel. This is what happens. Crap. We mean business now. Check it out. For those of you who don't know the rebel, this is my sculpting kit from back in the day. I have maybe four usable tools in this, and they're all going to get used on this. So this is the sculpture that Steve Norrington sculpted for us, and it's a lot of fun. I really like it. So now I'm going to chop it up to change it while he's not here. But he told me I could. It says so. It says so on this note. Let's see. Uh, he says this. See, he says, done. Uh, needs more fine detail. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. Just give it a little more fine detail. Come on, I love Steve. Don't look at me like that. Steve and I go back a long, long way. He's a very talented uh, guy. Multi-talented. He's directed some great movies, sculpted some amazing stuff. And I have a ton of respect for Mr. Norrington. And he was good enough to come in and help us out. There. Actually, the reason I'm chopping this up is because it makes it a lot easier to mold it. It has nothing to do with me, you know, vandalizing other artists' work. It was the plan.
Eventually, I'll take this clay off of here, then the sculptures underneath, and I'll pour silicone to fill in where this clay is at. Buddhist uh, who refused to use uh, any um, anesthetic while getting that wall at the no, dentist. I haven't heard about the Buddhist. Oh, here it comes. He decided to <laughs> transcend dental medication. <laughs> you knew it was coming. Cool. Alex had worked late for like six months. I did years. it! <laughs> I did it, Mama! <laughs> oh, I remember that stuff. Zip kicker. Yeah, you remember the schmell? I do. Developed yeah, Thank you, Frank. Before. Yeah, that's what they say. Thank you, Frank. Balzer. Hey, guys, are we good to go here? We're yeah, good, good to go. Start spritzing, I yes? Good to go. Great. Are you Pardon me? My pants aren't falling down. No, I'll, I'll pull you up Roll a little bit. It. Come on over here, then, if you would. Okay. And we'll do the, do the deal. Maybe you just want to step onto this. Okay. Clear? Can you guys uh, hold the work, please? Getting close to within seconds. Oh, sorry. No, sorry. I say, sorry, I'm gonna block you. Yeah. You can go into a Zen state by looking at the cardboard. Oh, it's jelly. Yeah, I don't want it to run as much as yeah. perhaps some other. Is this Smuckers or is this uh, uh, Knott's Berry Farm <laughs> preserves? Alice Berry Farm. Alice. 
Alec Berry. Alec Berry. Years ago when I met Alec, he told me that he and his brother used to do Harryhausen monster impressions in front of the garage. Because uh -huh. he, Alec has that sort of, <laughs> it's just think of the chest. It kind of goes yeah, like I, I haven't done it in years. Yeah. It's kind of what you're doing, Lance, with your sticking your pelvis out. Oh, you, you just swallow the whole, I did, yeah. that was new. Stand. <laughs> Not the standard, but I thought that was funny. That was a standard, right? Yeah, Alec, Alec called me on. Um, Leviathan. Uh, what was that? Leviathan. Leviathan. We work on the deep dive suit. I had a great time, actually. It was fun. Well, you you saved us. You came in and with your mad model skills. You know what? It was really easy stuff. Yeah, it was the easiest shit. I was making ever. all these parts because the guys were not used to making. Things that were parallel and smooth and everything, because they're sculptors, you know. Model part and stuff. And so the stuff was actually very. The guy who designed it, Steve uh, Berg, Berg just did a really. I can see the design. A lot of designers, it's hard to tell what's what because it's all very impressionistic. Steve Berg draws like everything, so it was actually really easy and fun stuff to make. So all the guys would look at it. And I thought, okay, I'll take the compliments. Yeah, let's keep your mouth shut. It's a great movie, but. You know, I had I had a, the T-shirt on the on one of the the uh, abyss right after that. Oh, Jim, oh, oh. Jim goes, take that off. I <laughs> <laughs> told you because Maras will be said. Uh, we're going to show Cameron Cameron's doing an underwater movie. <laughs> we're going to show him how it's done. <laughs> but it was all dry for wet and you know. Yeah. You want to plan cut motors? Yeah. yeah. But I, I was there when he first comes in. He goes. Stan, you never have anything to eat here. Yeah. It's all about just And then we, we, we dug through the, we, as a joke, we brought in, um, uh, oh, Do we get on the green? It's gonna happen, baby, it's gonna happen. Well, it's, it's all you can do. Okay, why don't you step out there? Step back? Yeah. Onto your marks. Get to, well, we gave him yeah. goober grape, crackers with goober grape. Oh, yeah. And, and, he, and he said, and he you want to, uh, And you want to spot him? Uh, that's good. Is it your spot? Sure. Yeah, that's the right spot. Who's directing this? Oh, Alec. He's misdirecting. <laughs> Alec Pan-Gillis. Oh. Pan-Gillis. <laughs> they, uh, he was really upset because somebody reviewed a movie of his mm -hmm. and they used his oh, name. Nice. And said, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, Pan, because Marcus, we understand why he got his name. And he said they used my own family name. <laughs> <laughs> but then they do a Tombstone. Yeah, I love that movie. I've never seen it. People You've never it's seen good. it. Yeah. She'll bring it Guy. Like staggering, and then kind of going run. Right. Don't walk towards us like that. Okay. Okay. Make it like. Run. Uh, and then when you run, run straight towards us. Okay. Not like. Run back. Don't run towards the camera, but run, to run toward. Uh, what I don't want is I don't want this, and then drunk guy running. I want staggering. <laughs> with the bodies. It's a three so foot wide corridor. So you don't, you can't go side to side much. So yeah. So you're straight you, towards camera. Yes. Okay. So, so you're right? drunk, you sober up and run. Yeah, you're drunk, you sober up and you run. Okay, ready? We're we rolling. Okay, let's see some. Let's just get those heads alive. Yeah. Yeah, okay, ready, and you're snapping, you're staggering, yeah, ready, and sober up, and run! And cut. Well, Why don't we play that back? Uh, <laughs> okay, that's, that's we have some adjustments on this little greenie. Yeah. Um, let's adjust the greenies, and then we'll think about how we can frame adjust this, too, to get him to speed up as he goes, right? Because he's probably slowing down. So we got all kinds of differing, differing greens happening there, Joe. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's awesome. Cool. You want that? I want to see it again. It doesn't really bother me so far. You sure? On the edge. Look, look here. Watch it as it goes. You've seen that. I think we're. I think we're. Well, you might be a little too rhythmic, like you're. That's a okay. <laughs> so, so just kind of get it off. Yeah, you, can, you can take your feet off. Yeah. That's mine. Hey, Steve. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. So, electrified. <laughs> yeah, we're rolling. Okay. Ready? You are ready and run! Good. <laughs>